Weiter mehr. Forecast. Draw a card from up the beanstalk. Hey, that's a good card. Alright, so we're gonna go minus four to go get Jace back. Now, we eliminate you. Yeah, you saw it coming. Oh, that felt good. That felt real good. So recently I got asked on the channel about a Bant control list. So and that kind of got me thinking, is Bant control still doable in standard? And I'm very pleasantly surprised to say that, yeah, it absolutely is. And you build it correctly, and I think you can absolutely take a um, a, a Bant control list uh, to a pretty good rank in standard. It, it does pretty well against a lot of like the mid-range decks. A few of the faster ones will give you a little bit of a headache, but nothing that you can't handle. So what we're doing is we're taking the average blue-white shell, counter spells, removal, all that good stuff, and we're splashing in green for specifically... One copy of Bosaju, three copies of Up the Beanstalk, and one copy of Tamiyo Completed Sage. On their own, they're not exactly anything to write home about, but built in a deck that is arranged to take advantage of their benefits, well, I think you got something good going on here. So, I'm going to stop rambling, let's go take a look at the deck itself, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, hello everyone. This is the deck tech for our new band control list. And the way that we're playing this deck is we're playing like a basic everyday white blue control build. The only green cards that are actually in this deck are a single copy of Tamiyo and three copies of Up the Beanstalk. Now the reason why Up, Up the Beanstalk is in here is because you really want to be drawing cards while dealing with your opponent's stuff. And if you look at the cards in this deck, Up the Beanstalk will draw you a card whenever you play something with mana value 5 or greater. So that's Farewell, Leyline Binding, even if Leyline Binding's mana cost gets reduced because of Domain, it still counts as a 5 plus cost spell at the time of casting. So you do still get to draw cards off of Leyline Binding. Uh, next up, we got uh, some Sunfall. It's five mana, exile all creatures. Get to draw a card off that. Tamiyo is a five mana spell as well. Um, Memory Deluge, not when you first play it, but when you flashback it from the graveyard, it will be a five cost spell. And I believe that's it. Oh, and March of Otherworldly Light. If you cast X for five or more, then you uh, get to draw off of it. And good thing to note, though, is that this reads... Mana value X or less. Exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment with mana value X or less. So you you can you can just pump like five plus mana into this spell um, to satisfy the need of up the beanstalk, even if what you're removing only costs like two or three mana. So that is something you can do. So aside from that, you got some copies of No More Lies, Make Disappear, Deduce for Drawing Cards, Wandering Emperor, and Jace, of course. And then you'll see the combo here, Jace and Tamiyo. You are going to be winning most games by milling your opponent out. And a way to do that is to spend all your points on Jace, letting it go to the graveyard, and then playing Tamiyo for her secondary ability. We really don't use her for any ability other than the minus X. The plus one is okay. The minus seven, you're never going to get there. The minus X is what we're using this for. So minus X, exile target non-land permanent card with menu value X from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of that card. So use this for four to target Jace to get, get a copy of him out of the graveyard onto the battlefield and then immediately go minus five on Jace to mill your opponent for, for 15 additional cards. And that's why I'm calling this deck the Bant Jace Juicer, because you're playing Tamiyo to squeeze just a little bit more juice out of Jace and get that win. And that's also why there's really only one copy of her in here, because it's, it's just used for that interaction right there. You really don't need her for much else in this deck. Uh, let's take a look at the mana base. 
Two copies of Iganjo, three plains, two islands, one Atawara, one Boseju, one forest, three Restless Anchorage, three Sea Chrome Coast, two Restless Vinestock, and then a Rafine's Tower, a Jetmere's Garden, two Spars Headquarters, and four Broker's Hideout. These last four down here are really just in here to satisfy Leyline Binding's domain effect. So like, you don't really need to be running these exactly, but these are really good for reducing the cost on Leyline Binding early. So there it is. Let's go play some games with this and see if this deck will actually function as described. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, all right, so this doesn't look too bad. It's got a Rafine's Tower and a Forest in it. Uh, we can get our Up the Beanstalk online pretty early, but No More Lies is not going to be able to be cast until we get a second blue or white source. Something tells me I shouldn't keep it, but I'm going to keep it. Down All right. First to play is going to be the Rafine's Tower. Hit him with the Hello. Right, they play a Restless Cottage. Okay, Restless Anchorage or Forest. We're going to go with the Forest first and play an Up the Beanstalk. Okay, all right, I like that. All right, they play a Swamp, so probably a Gold Up. Oh, yep, yeah, Insidious Roots dot deck. All right, let's go ahead and play the Up the Beanstalk. Or the, we'll play the Restless first. And then, we will lay line binding, drawing a card for that, targeting that, and I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, so we got a death cap glade, so they're up to three lands. Oh, and they are cracking both Seiju to get their Insidious Roots back. That's fine. I will take action. And I will put a Jetmere's Garden on the table. So thank you very much for that. Alright, let's go and play a Spar's Headquarters also. And then... We'll play an Up the Beanstalk. Let me draw another card. And it's a Jace. Nice. And turn. So it might be time to start uh, Jace bombing. But we do need to find a way to get rid of that Insidious Roots first, though. I don't want them getting uh, a bunch of bonuses from me emptying their library into their graveyard. Alright, they play a Tyvar. I will play No More Lies. Cool. Alright, so that saved us a moment there. Mm, we do have March. Do we play Jace now? No. Looks like our opponent didn't want to stick around. They don't like getting their spells countered. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. So we have a Restless Anchorage, a Ganjo, and a Broker's Hideout. So it gives me access to all three colors. We also have Memory Deluge, Farewell, Sunfall, and March. Pretty decent open, so we'll keep it. Okay, looks like we're up against red though, and that's bad for me. So let's go ahead and play the Restless Anchorage first. All right, double red into the Iron Crag. What is this? All right, you have my attention. Let's go ahead and play a Plains right now to bluff. Um, a counterspell. Alright, play a Swamp. So we're up against Rakdos. Alright, our turn. Play the Broker's Hideout. We're gonna go get a Forest. Rouse reinforcements create two 1-1 one, one blue and red elemental creature tokens. Alright, I'm into it. You got some dudes. What are you going to do with those dudes, though? Alright, let's see here. What's that cost? Two? Tell you what. Actually, no, we can't. Cancel out. Alright, my turn. 
All right, let's go and play the Ganjo. Land the turn. Just sit on all this open mana. Pass. Pass. All right. Um, two damage is nothing, honestly. I'd rather cast a Memory Deluge. Oh, but I can't, because I don't have the right manas. All right. Let's go ahead and do this first, then. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. Totally fine. I'm never done good. Hey, there's a land. Your blade do the talking. We like that land. Rat end. Okay. And turn. Rat out. What an interesting card. To one target creature gets minus one minus one until on a turn. You create a one one black rat creature token with this creature can't block. So some some kind of token build, at the very least. Alright. I I'm seriously waiting to see him cast pull and get those guys out of the graveyard. Cause that'd be hilarious. All right, my turn. All right, my Jammer's Garden. All right, they take the two in turn. I'm going to have to uh, cast a farewell next turn. Cause there's definitely a reason why those are in the graveyard. All right, in a turn, cast Memory Deluge. They're casting big score. Resolve. Oh, what the hell? Oh, free battlefield. Chaotic transformation. Okay. Browser. Uh, yeah. Give me a chase and give me a sunfall. All right, my turn. Another Seacrow post. That's fine. How many cards in your graveyard? Eight. The cards in my graveyard is four. One, two, three, four, five, six mana available. We're gonna sit. Right, well, they definitely have the mana to cast it if they are playing what I think they're playing. All right. Um, Cool. So, end of turn. I land. So I'm going to attack for two. Let's see what they do. Bloodline Culling. Target is just minus five, minus five to one turn. Okay. You got it. Alright, well, now I can just do this. All artifacts, creatures, enchantments, and graves. Gets a red. Two red. What's he gonna do with that red? It appears to be nothing. Yep, nothing. You just want to get the man out of him. Rouse reinforcement skin. Okay. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna deduce. Are we gonna animate the Restless Anchorage? Attack for two. And activate. Targeting that. Make disappear. Yeah, that can stay right there. I got no problem with that. And we have a deduce to draw it. How do you like that? 
Okay, two damage. No big deal. End of your turn, I cast Deduce. He casts Invoke Calamity. You may cast up to two instant and or sorcery spells with total mana value six or less from your graveyard and or hand without paying mana costs. If those spells will be put into your graveyard, exile them instead. Okay, yeah, do it. I want to see what you got. He chooses Chaotic Transformation. Okay. Oh, he's choosing my land. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to do this right here. For zero. Confirm zero. Submit zero. Target that. So that you don't get the chaos transformation. Oh, I got a broker's hideout. How you like that? Give me that island. Alright, cool. Oh, and that shuffle kind of screwed me up a little bit. That's okay, though. The cards in your library? 39? Okay. Alright. Gotta go after that. Ooh, a tally. All right, you get an tally. We'll see what happens. You get a trumpeting carnosaur and a leyline binding. Okay. It's a Carnosaur. Carnosaur is going to discover five. And invoke Calamity. This is a pretty interesting deck. I like what he's got going on here. Good thing none of his creatures have haste. That would really suck for me. With my four board wipes in my hand, Jesus. Does this make me the bad guy? It probably does. Resolve. Resolve. Alright, and a turn. Deduce. Cool. Take that. Alright. Now we're going to cast Sunfall. And we're going to remove all creatures, all enchantments, and not artifacts. Uh, we'll get rid of the graveyards as well. Just to prevent any kind of reanimation shenanigans. Surrender your mind to Phyrexia's will. Okay. And next, we will do. Pay four. Target you. Nothing could be more vulnerable than your memory. What do you get down there? Sisters of the Undead. Oh, it's Olivia. Okay. Interesting. Okay, he wants to cast Wake to Slaughter. Choose a card to return to opponent's hand. Okay, he's discovering some things. Very good. Resolve. Oh, and it had, does have haste this time. I'm gonna just tuck that away in some little private pocket dimension.
All right, my turn. So let's see here. We'll go ahead. We'll do a little plus one. Submit zero, because there's no creatures on the board. Okay. And... Don't have any man lands on the board at the moment. So we're just going to chill and end the turn. All right, Olivia comes in. Flying and haste. All right, what creature are you going to grab from your graveyard? None. Okay. Here comes the Emperor. Alright, he casts big score. Resolve. Alright, minus two. Exile that. End of turn, cycle. Cool, I like that. Right, let's play the Broker's Hideout and see if there's anything left to get. <laughs> a single planes, that's what's left to get. Alright, it's so minus one, make a dude. We'll go. Plus one, submit zero. I'll use one of these right now. Okay, I like that. Next, end turn. <laughs> Sitting on three sunfalls over here. Feels dirty. It's a lot of unnecessary time. Alright, there they go. Bye bye. All right, one, two, three. So Restless Anchorage, Plains, and Burgers Hideout. That gives us access to all three colors. We have No More Lies, The Water Emperor, Leyline Binding, and Deduce. I will keep it. All right, we're up against Blue Black to start with today. So we'll go ahead and play the Restless Anchorage first. Okay, so it's Esper, actually. So play that, so we have access to No More Lies, and also Deduce. Deep Cavern Bat. Sounds like a liar to me. Alright, Brokers. That was gonna get us a forest. Next, next. Enter it. Another Deep Cavern Bat, you say? Okay. Show me which one you want to get. Probably going to go for the March of Otherworldly Light. Yeah, that's what I would have chosen. Alright, pass. Alright, and turn. We will deduce. Hey, we got a land. Nice. Cancel. We gotta pay some life to do this. I've already you won't stop a kill. Oh, another deep cavern bed. Okay. So that's three deep cavern bats you've played so far. All right, that's gone. Mm. I will clear your mind. Mm hmm. Show me a counter spell. There it is. Add a boy. All right, now you can get it.
Thank you. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so, first things first. Going to animate. We're gonna start beating you up. And turn. Ah, a restless anchorage of their own. Would you like to see that? Alright, end of turn. Activate. Draw a card off the clue. Hey, it's Boseju. We like that. My turn. Alright. I'm not animating anything else right now because I want to keep my mana available for Memory Deluge. And I'm not playing the Boseju because this Boseju is really good against those man lands. Alright, I play a Shattered Sanctum. They have exactly one basic land out. <laughs> Alright, end of turn. Cast. Cool. Alright, my turn. Oh, look who it is. Cards in your graveyard? Not enough. Focus on the facts. Oh, there's the fourth bat. Nice. Oh, cool. Alright. Alright, and turn. This deck is starting to look like a tap out control list. All this blue mana and no uh, spells to cast them on. Oh no. It's the Eternal Wanderer. Alright, that's gone. Nice. Alright. Gobble that up. Play points for turn. Nice. Alright. So we got one, two, three left open. So we can use that if we need to. Oh, we'll need to discard down. Hmm. Yeah, cancel. Yeah, next, next, end turn. We will discard a farewell. So I don't think that's going to be too relevant in this matchup. All of this, however, is a different story. All right, my turn. All right, let's go play Restless Vine Stock. Uh, we're up to. Start plus one in here. Our plans are beyond your comprehension. I'm just gonna keep my mana open. See what they choose to do. Outrageous robbery, huh? Can't say I can let that go. <laughs> That's a little bit much. Memory Deluge, huh? Alright. Alright, pass. Alright, anything else? My turn. Take our turn. Summit zero. Organic 
All right. Kaya, the Intangible Slayer. Okay. Get in, deal some damage, get out. Sounds easy enough. Hmm. I don't think I like that. First you then. Just might not go off. What's the noise? Probably didn't go off because it didn't have a uh, a target. Interesting. All right. Well, right, let's go and play the land, and then we will channel this to get rid of that. Give me my Jace back. For the sake of Phyrexia, I we go get a land. Watch. Okay. See, be the battlefield again. So I got twelve. I have eight in my graveyard. So neither way is that going to go off. So let's go ahead and just make you mill a shit ton of cards. I will shatter there we go. Mind. All right, play jet. Oh, can't play jet mirrors. Already played land return. Okay, so. We'll do. I'll cast a leyline binding. Draw a card off that. That's gonna come in and gobble that up. And then I guess we just pass the turn after that. He's gonna rob me again. All right, well, you get it this time. Pretty ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He's gonna do the life loss thing, huh? Sweet. Cards? Perfect. One. Target you. Your victory is an Nothing, nothing could be more full. Play a Tamiya. Full cost. Draw a card from up the beanstalk. Hey, that's a good card. Alright, so we're gonna go. Minus four to go get Jace back. Now, we eliminate you. Yeah, you saw it coming. Oh, that felt good. That felt real good. All right, here we are with the post-game wrap, and I got some thoughts. Um... Probably the obvious thoughts. Um, up the Beanstalk, absolute MVP for this deck. Um, honestly, I am very, very happy to be splashing green just for up the Beanstalk and Boseju in a list like this. So up the Beanstalk gets a three of, 
solid, especially with the removal package that we're running in this deck. Really, really good. Love that card. Um, the Make Disappear and No More Lies are great. I'm kind of glad I went with two on Make Disappear and four on No More Lies, because No More Lies is just a more versatile spell and also exiles the card being cast. Um, Deduce is a surprisingly great draw spell, just because of the fact that it allows you to draw a card immediately and then sacrifice the clue token later to draw an additional card. So you get to split up the cost of like a four mana draw two across two turns. Really, really good. Love that card. Um, Otherworldly Light is really great just for its ability to remove multiple um, permanent types. The only thing this thing really can't hit are Planeswalkers um, and battles if you care about that, but no one really cares about that. It's the Planeswalkers that you really want to hit with this. So I would keep this in the deck just for synergy with Up the Beanstalk. If you're not running Up the Beanstalk, probably take this out for a card that can hit any permanent. Um, outside of that, Wandering Emperor and Jace doing their jobs. Memory Deluge, great for the card draw, especially on the back half. Um, Sunfall, great. Tamiyo is a fantastic fifth copy of Jace because that's basically how we're casting her. Using her as a fifth, fifth copy of Jace, nothing else. But for that one job that she does, she does it really well. So really happy to have Tamiyo in the deck. And Leyland Bindings and Farewells, of course you know those work well. So there it is. My thoughts are this is a fun and fantastic variant of Blue Eye Control. Can you get there a little bit more um, consistently with just Blue Eye? Absolutely you can, but why pass up all the value that comes from Up the Beanstalk? It's such a great card, and I'm probably going to be finding ways to add that into other decks that it doesn't need. So, there you go. That's the deck. If you liked it, I will put a link to the deck list in the description box down below so you can try this out yourself. And now that you've seen it, go play some games. Take care of yourselves.